I draw a lot yeah. and a lot of it I take from you know, obviously from nature or yeah. whatever, you know what I mean and, and just kind of with regards to taking it from nature and just drawing analogies between nature and man and because you know the environment is always reflected in the person you know like wherever I live yeah it's not a conscious at least I Earlier on, I wouldn't have made a conscious decision to reflect my environment, but every time I moved on and looked back at the images and the paintings I'd done, yeah. they had reflected where I was. I was living in Galway, and so there was a lot of blues and, and the sea theme type colours coming into yeah. the abstract work. Mm -hmm. And you know, before that, you know, I was at home, working from home, the studio there, which is in Monastreven, which is near the Bog of Allen. So there were all these earthy, browny boggy pieces yes. or whatever and you know while I would be out there and I would be out in the landscape I wouldn't be necessarily reflecting a, the, the, the landscape per se or whatever you know it would be just yeah be interpreted subconsciously I suppose yeah. in a lot of respects and it's really the stuff that I had really seen from you before in other exhibitions was mostly work on paper too yeah yeah and it would have been a lot smaller. So I was kind of, I was really surprised. Well, I'll, I'll, yeah, see, uh, I kind of, when I work on paper, I find anyway, a lot of my works are very, you know, light and sensitive and, and just, you know, I don't do much work on the paper it's, yeah. itself, you know, that's a lot lighter, whether it's, even if it's charcoal, you know, I try and keep it light and not overworked. Mm. But when it comes to canvases, I, I, I kind of do kind of throw myself in there yeah, physically into it and it becomes really a thicker, heavy. heavier, more... Yeah more work surface by the end of it yeah. um, and I like to kind of play between the two and quite often I would I would I would exhibit the two together to kind of have that play between yeah. between size and between you know uh, the medium and and the method yeah there was, a, there was a charcoal piece in that exhibition as well wasn't there there was yeah, yes yeah yeah, yeah the space over. between which is kind of yeah. like the whole exhibition there and when I was working on a lot of the larger pieces I work with uh, diptychs quite a bit and and and, and the idea behind the, the the diptychs are is that is this kind of uh, duality of, of meaning between things and stuff like that. Yeah. Like the big piece mono would have been, you know, it's called mono, but it's a big diptych. And when I hang a diptych, generally anyway, I, I hang it with a space between the two canvases rather yeah. than the two canvases yeah. together. The reason being that you are creating a divide between the two sides of one thing, you know, and there is that space between um, the two sides of everything, if you know what I mean. It's like like yourself even if it's the two sides yourself you know you're, you're kind of there is that gap between the two they don't necessarily always yeah. run straight into each other you know it's nearly like the the space between you know when you're calm and when you suddenly flip out you know you, mm -hmm. it, you know some with some people it can happen you know straight away or whatever and with others you know it might blend in